everybody. Um, we are so happy to see all of you here. We have lots of people coming today, so there'll be people coming in and out. It's the beginning of school. I know it's a crazy hectic time. Feel free to come and go, jump off as promised. Katie, sorry, I see a long friend out there. Um, uh, I promise there's a video that's coming and the documents that we share at the end, um, all of that will be sent out in the email shortly after this. So no worries when life gets you going sideways. My name is Blake Cohn. I am the executive director of NNSP, um, the National Network of Schools and Partnership. And we are thrilled to have you here today, especially at this most insane time of the school year. Uh, I have so much respect for how hard I know all of you are working to try to create the best experience for your kids. Um, and what my partner in crime, Laura Day, uh, from she's the executive director of the Institute for Social Impact at Hockaday School, and I have created today are some things that we find um, very entertaining, um, maybe just us but um, tricks and tools and games to bring joy, inclusion, happiness, uh, a feeling of community to your online classroom. Uh, this is going to be interactive 45 minutes, but it's going to be the fastest 45 minutes of your life because it is going to be fun and it's going to be um, completely enjoyable. And we're going to show you by example how these tiny little things can make your kids have a better experience online. So, Laura, I'm going to get, pass it over to you. All right, everybody, here we go. So here's where these things came from. Here's the reason, and all of you know why I'm doing this. Have, if you've taught one Zoom class and you have a whole bunch of kids who are like, kind of staring at you and, and you feel like, am I reaching you? Are you with me? How do we shake this up? What do we do? Um, I discovered that that was going to be an issue over the summer, which then um, inspired me to think of what are like fast, quick hitting little games that you can do with students or if you run faculty meetings that you can do in faculty meetings that just kind of shakes up the energy because that's all you want to do is shake up the energy. There's as much talking about geometry as you can on a Zoom, right? If you can just do a quick hitting two minute game, and I, this could be used as little as a little person and as old as an old person, um, any of these games can be used and you can adapt them. The first one that we're gonna do, and basically what I'm gonna do, it's kind of train the trainer. Um, you're gonna live through all of these games with me. So I'm hoping those of you who are screen sharing are down to participate. Um, it won't be anything crazy, don't anybody worry. The first game we're gonna do is the game I normally do first with my students. I've already done this and it's called the superhero game. You're gonna rename yourself. So there's three dots at the top of your screen. Um, and in that, you're gonna make your first name, the city you were born in. Wait, Laura, your audio went away. You muted yourself. So I put it all up in the chat. I'm back, don't worry. It's in the <laughs> chat. So right now I'm renaming myself. I was born in Starkville and I'm still watching the Americans. So my superhero name is Starkville, the Americans. So if everyone can go up and rename themselves, click the three dots, hit rename and give yourself a new name. While you're doing that, what I'm gonna tell everybody is you can do this a million iterations. Uh, yesterday in a class that we teach about biology, I have them. I had them put their favorite animal and their favorite um, social media. If you're teaching English, have them put their favorite writer and their favorite book. You know, anything to be their name. And then it's fun because I can be like Vienna Survivor. Good to have you with us. And you can call people out. Great way to make kids feel seen. Bronx News Hour. News Hour. I like it. Very uh, academic, appreciate it. Providence Schitt's Creek. Schitt's Creek is like definitely popular and it's a great superhero name to add Schitt's Creek into anything. Um, and kids think it's hilarious, whatever age, so. Um, so it's pretty fun. It's a good way to call each other. And I have kids keep their name like this for the whole class because it just shakes up the energy a little bit because I can be like, New Haven Grey's Anatomy. All right, good answer. And then they laugh because ah ha ha, you're calling me my superhero name. Um, so keep them up. 
we're all gonna now go by uh, where we were born in this in our favorite TV show. And if you don't watch TV, I'll allow you to put a book or a movie. Um, but boy, during quarantine, if you don't watch TV, I am proud of you. Okay, next, we're gonna play a little game. Um, we will share this with you, so that way you you too can also use this. Um, we are going to play game time. So we are um, what we're going to play um, game time with Danny, who is a friend of both Blake and I's. Um, today is the best September twenty third, uh, September third you are ever going to have. So please enjoy it. Um, what we're going to do together, everybody, is we are going to um, show you Danny's dog. Danny's family thinks it's very funny to name the dog a very intense long name. Allison Jane Duffy Little Girl Pebbles the second. Now you don't have to play Danny's dog, but what you do need to do is tell your students, I'm gonna put a really funny picture of an animal up. And then when I put that picture up in the chat, I want all of you to give it a funny name. Give it the most outlandish name you can or the name you think it should be. So let's all in the chat name this little dog what would you name him or her let's not assume so and blake if you see any and you want to read off what people are saying so we're putting as many names as we can takes a second for kids to get going takes a second for all of us to get going dolly hairdo florentine spaghetti beautiful justina barker Fifi needs a haircut. Lady Genevieve LaCroix Pooper. <laughs> wag the wag. Wag the wag. That's awesome. Um, so you can see how this is super fun for kids. Anything you could put and just have them start naming. So I'm going to give you the next animal. That's a real animal photo, everybody. No lie. <laughs> That's a real animal photo. Let's name him. Gertie Buff Buff in the house. Are we blowout bombshell for this or the last one? Probably the last one. Barbara Wallers. That's funny. Sir Bug Eye. Nice. Keep them coming. The, all the answers, the better. So I'm just fine. I promise. <laughs> Surprise, Sammy. Lightning McFried. Cheers, all ears. This is good. You can see how continually funny this is. We're going to give you one more exciting animal for the cat lovers out there. Here he is. Who do we see here, everybody? Then we'll send you this slideshow, any photo you put up, even if you put one photo up for 30 seconds, break up the energy and go back to teaching economics. Blue who? Marty Cha Cha McFly. <laughs> Thought Bubble Fluffhead, was that this one? Meow Phelps, nice. Like a little play on words, Meow Phelps, that's good. Um, all right, one final one. This little guy is actually a squirrel on Brown University's campus that Penn every day, State. Penn State, oh, sorry, Penn State, that actually gets a new hat every day. Somehow they've trained a squirrel to let them put a hat on this little person and they take a photo every day. So let's name this little squirrel with the hat. Dexter, that's a good one. Edward the Nut. And feel free to use any of these photos with your kids. Let's get one more. Did I do that? And Pilot Pete. Pilot Pete. <laughs> is, that a bachelor, is that a bachelor reference? I hope so. All right. Um, so continued with game time. You can do one of these. You can do all of these. Whatever you want to break up the energy. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to put a picture on the screen. And you are going to say what you call that picture. And we're going to all show where we come from based on this. What do you call it? Sofa, lots of couch, sofa and couch, front runners, about equal, though a lot of couch people out there. Couch is the new sofa. Sate, sate, that's right, that's a good one. Appreciate that. Devon, I love when people say Devon, that's a good one. I get like one or two each time. The guest bathroom, nice. Don't know what's going on there. All right, next one. And obviously you can spend as, oh, bedroom. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's probably closer. Ikea, nice. 
Um, obviously, you can spend as much time as you want. You can laugh together. You can talk about it. Um, I'm obviously going to try to show you as many games as possible in 45 minutes, so I'm speeding through. Next picture. What do you call that? All right, everyone, what do you call it? A sucker. Ooh, there's a yeah. lot of suckers in this one. We got some Southerners in here then. A yum yum dum dum. That's great. Love yum yum dum dum. A lolly, nice. Lollipop, sucker, lollipop. A dulce. Nice. Okay, next picture, everybody. What do you call that? <laughs> Can be called a lot of things, but you're driving by, you see this on someone's yard. What do you call it? Eviction. <laughs> <laughs> Tag sale, flea market. There's some new ones. That's good. No one Any? said garage sale. I know even if it's on a yard, some people just call it a garage sale, but probably de depends on where you grew up. Okay, next photo. What do you call this? When you order one of these, I'll take a pop. Love when people say pop. Soda, it's popular. Soft drink, nice. A little more formal. Sugar water, really? St. Louis Big Bang, cool. People with diabetes, Coke for all of them. Dallas Storm, me too. Coke for all of them. Kind of gets confusing, doesn't it? When you sit down and do that. Soft drink, nice. I think I have one more. All right. This is a good one. Some of us live in places where we've never seen this in our whole lives. But if you live somewhere where this is, what do you call it? A lot of roundabouts, rotaries. We had a traffic circle earlier. Traffic circle, roundabout. You can imagine if you put this up for students, it's so fun. They're like, in Dallas, they're like, what is that? <laughs> we have no idea. Dangerous? Anxiety? Yeah, exactly. Spaceship, yep, that's good. New Jersey nightmare, <laughs> that's nice. I like it, super fun. Um, all right, let's see if we, all right, no, okay. So we got our next game, everybody. Thank you for participating in that. That's a really fun one. And obviously you can do as many or as little. One just shakes up the energy. I can't explain how much. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is this. And you can do this. And if you're noticing that the energy is low, you can do this. Everybody on the screen and ev everybody out there, you have 10 minutes, I mean 10 minutes, oh gosh, <laughs> two minutes, maybe one, to find something around you to make a hat out of. For example, I have a Wonder Woman cape and I'm gonna make a hat out of it. I've got my mask. So we're all making hats with something near us. We're going to stop the share way more fun. And let me say, if you want people to show themselves, if you have a student, you're like, want to bring them out of their um, shell, tell them to pin themselves. You know, then you can reward Philadelphia. This is us for the balancing act that she's doing over there. It's very impressive. Earlier, I did this at my school. Somebody put a dog on their head. That was very impressive. People get very creative. How many post-its can Philly Eco Challenge get over there on the head? We got about five so far. We got a helmet, flowers. I'm gonna keep, well, we got a pig. What a dream, North Adams Schitt's Creek, that you had that right by you. That worked out. The rest of you have, <laughs> are not with me. I only have some of you on the screen. So half of us get the joy of putting things on our head and the other, other half don't. We got a stuffed animal on our head, cups, impressive. Now, you can obviously leave things on your head or you can say, take them off. Very fun for lower school, you can imagine. They love to put things on their head and they think it's so funny. Um, I've been doing this all week and it's really a hit. Okay, this is energy, folks. We got a lot of games you're living through with me. The next game I like to play, again, pre-K to 108. Um, is this or that. I'm going to give you two options and you're going to vote for which one you like better, okay? So I'm going to say, for instance, a throwback to the Super Bowl. Are you more Team J-Lo or Shakira? Who are my J-Lo people? 
Raise your hand. Nice. And who are my Shakira people? <laughs> that's good. If you really like Shakira, that's good. We want to we want to make as much movement as possible. Um, okay, this is a regional thing. Coke or Dr. Pepper? Who are the Coke drinkers? And that's any variety of Coke, obviously. Who are my Coke people? Who are my Dr. Pepper people? Any Dr. Pepper people? All right, that's so great. I taught something nationally and none of the kids were from the South at all. And they were like, Dr. Pepper, what are you talking about? Um, okay, next one, candy. Sour Patch Kids, these are on polar opposites. Sour Patch Kids or Reese's Peanut Butter Cups? Who are my Sour Patch Kid people? And who likes Reese's Peanut Butter Cups? Yeah, Philly Eco Challenge, hyped about peanut butter cups. All right, right now, everybody, if I gave you a ton of money and said you have to pick to go on a vacation to the mountains or to the beach, who was going to the mountains? No way over there. Some people are like, no way. Who's going to the beach? Two hands means we're sending you to the beach. Nice. Okay. If you all of a sudden had a lot of time on your hands, this is fun for teachers. <laughs> What's time? Would you sleep or watch TV? Who's sleeping immediately? Who is sleeping? And who's hitting the TV and just binge watching whatever they can get their hands on? Nice. And you can imagine everybody too, and I'm just plugging every so often, you have new students on your campus, you're trying to get to know them online or on Zoom, that's hard. Or you have a new fifth grader who doesn't know anyone or that kind of thing. This is really helpful because you can have a moment when you're like, you know who that kid is. You can be like, oh my gosh, you know, Kim, can you believe Blake also loves Sour Patch Kids? You know, like you can connect kids with a fun way and it's a good way to keep building community. Um, we'll do two more. NBA or NFL? Who are my NBA people? And who loves the NFL? Who's my NFL crew? All right, gotta have sports. And then the last one, a battle of the Ryans. Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Gosling. Who's Ryan Reynolds? Who's Ryan Gosling? Wow. God, okay, good. Christy, represent poor Ryan Gosling. She felt sad for him, I think. <laughs> Not ideal. All right. Now, let me tell you something that we're, that, that's new to this. Uh, this is my third iteration of it. We have DJ Blake with us. So we have, for you, something that's also really helpful. When you have students coming in out of the waiting room, instead of the, I'm going to make us pause and stare at each other quietly for a second. Awkward. We, Kurt Blake, really, made a Spotify list of the best songs you can play as students are coming into your room. So DJ Blake, play a song. Thank you, DJ Blake. So you can imagine kids are like, zoom, zoom, zoom. Whoa, they wrote a song about us. That's so great. We're on Zoom. Um, we'll play you a couple of those as we're moving through. We are sharing that playlist with you. Don't you worry. All of you should be, yes, that every entry to your class, even if it's not your style, will shock a kid when you put a song on. I've started singing songs to kids as they come. They've really loved that, as you might imagine. Okay, the next thing we're going to play, which is a game I love to play, it's Shazam. It's not hard to play, everybody. I'm going to play a song for you. You get ready on your chat feature to tell me the name of the song first. So first, I'm going to play the song. Then you are going to tell me what it is. Beautiful. That was really fast. You guys really know that one. Let's try the next one. We are having to skip an ad. So sometimes you maybe want to have different kind of music ready to go, but maybe not. Yeah. What's
what they said, exactly. Awesome. I like to play different kinds of musics to make sure that, um, you know, I'm appealing to all the different students that I have. Um, and I will play one more song for all of you to see if we know it. really appreciate the person I don't remember who it was who knew sugar right away that means you've been listening to that song or it's been on your car nice work out there and normally I'll um there's always a student who like gets every one of them immediately and those people are pretty fun to know so um you can play any music breaks up the energy even if you're noticing like I'm losing everyone grab your phone and just shove it into the mic and have them tell you what it is totally helps totally shakes everything up all right DJ Blake, what do you think about another song for us? See, awkward Zoom. You can avoid that if you have the Spotify playlist. Here comes Blake, DJ Blake, coming at you. It's muted, DJ Blake. It's my house, come on, turn it up. Uh. Hear a knock on the door when the night begins. We've done this before, so you come on in. Make yourself at my home, tell me where you've been. Pour yourself something cold, baby, cheers to this. Sometimes you gotta stay in, yeah. and you know where I live. Yeah, you know what we is. Sometimes you gotta stay in, yeah. in. Welcome to my house, baby, take control. Awesome. So really, it's pretty funny when you play that and kids come in and you're like, welcome to my house. Um, and they laugh and all of you laugh. And it's just really fun to play as kids are coming in. Um, okay, next game. This is a great game for math teachers. So share this with your math teachers and anyone can play it. I play it too. Um, and we're going to do two iterations of this game. And this is another game that makes you get up because it's important. Obviously, we like Everyone's like, how do we get kids off Zoom, even though we're all on Zoom? This is one quick little way to get them up. Okay, you all have a minute in your house to find something that's the shape of a square and bring it back and show it to us, or in your classroom. Find something that's the shape of a square. All right, we got an early Kleenex box, picture frame, cup, cup uh, why am I blanking on a coaster is the word. Oh, poster, post-it, eraser. Blake is holding up what has a square in it, but quite an arrangement around it. <laughs> I'm trying to see, we got like a, a paper, we got a lot of paper, everyone's finding a square. Those of you not on camera, if you wanna get your camera up and show us what you have, I'd love to see your square out there. Show me your squares. Oh, is that a jewelry box? It's opened and closed a square. That you get bonus points for. Okay, good job, square finders. Don't worry, I'm gonna do this three times and the third shape's gonna blow your mind. <laughs> but there's always someone who can make it. Okay, next shape you need to find. See how they got your blood flowing and you like, now you could learn like geometry. Um, okay, find something that is a circle. Anything that's a circle, bracelet, bowl, water bottle, eraser, or bouncy ball. North Adam Schitt's Creek. Oh, you got a lot of fun things going on over there. Bowl, cup. Oh, tape. Lots of circles. Chestnut Hill, Teen Bounty Hunter, I assume is the name that we're looking for. Candles. And if you scroll through everybody, you can see everyone's exciting thing they brought to the table. A lot of cup holders, a lot of water bottles. Awesome. Nice job. Okay. Are you ready, everyone? The next shape I want you to make is a hexagon. That's six sides, right? Yes. 
I have to check it every time I say it, it scares me. Hexagon, six sides. You could make it if you had to. I bet you somebody can bring back a hexagon. Okay, Dallas Storm just happened to have a hexagon right there. Oh, we drew a hexagon. I like it. Geniuses. Anyone else have a hexagon? We have a drawing of a hexagon. Anyone naturally, anybody can make a hexagon Look around them? Looking so hard. Could, yeah. <laughs> like, so she's like, I have to have a hexagon. Now your whole house, you're going to be always making sure you have every shape around because I might pop up on Zoom out of nowhere and be like, find it. That's that. Yep. A, he a, pex oh, a hexagon. That's Sides. close. That's close. That's nice. Okay. All right. Good job. Geometry next year. Good job. Thank you guys. So that, that is a great game, right? I mean, in the sense that you get kids up, it's fun. Um, you could have them do anything. They could try to find anything. You could tell them to go grab everything they can and make a bear out of it. You know, like anything just to, to get them moving, I think is important. Okay, here is my newest game, Hot Off the Press. You, most of you probably have books in your home or magazines. We're, I'm going to have to get up too. I'm going to give you a minute to try to write either a phrase, a statement, a poem, whatever, out of book titles. Okay, so you're going to get like two books. So <laughs> you can tell what I'm reading. So I, my book title would be Designing Your Life, Big Potential. Nice. So we're looking for our books. How to be an anti-racist, white awake. Roots to power, rules for radicals. That's nice, it's a good one. The forgotten, toxic communities. Pajama time, under a wing. <laughs> That's good. I love myself, untamed. The hundred, of, the hundred dresses fly away home. I love dirty nature connection. Oh, that's good. That flows. Afterlife, the witches are coming. Good night, moon. See this kid? <laughs> Untamed. Not light, but fire. Nice statement. Unselfie, the person you mean to be. Good. Did we do a emergent strategy blind spot yet? No, that's nice. Oh, wait, what's emergent Christine? strategy? Blind Little spot. women, one came home. No, <laughs> that's really funny. Nice. All the light we cannot see teach like Finland. <laughs> these are getting, one, these are getting so creative. I, um, no one else. I didn't have any good books. Old it's house. Old house. Real simple. That's good. Good to know magazines are still out there. So again, everybody, oh, wait, keep that Chestnut Hill. I want to see that. How Can you read it, actually? Because that's a lot of books, and I think it's probably got a Jane. real story to tell, Jane. I, I, I'm trying. Well, I, I had Emergent Strategy, cupcakes and, cupcakes and Cashmere together, Always Pack a Party Dress, Untamed. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's how you want to close it out, four books. The four-book yeah. champion. And if you want to do this with your students, you can do it as, with kindergartners. They can get their little picture books and make a story out of it. Um, you could have them tell a story about themselves using books that are around them. There are so many ways and uses of um, books that are in rooms or in houses. This is a really fun thing to do. And again, getting kids up is very important. Uh, DJ Blake, are you ready, you think, to um, give us another song? We're doing some song um, it pieces so you can hear some of the hits from our playlist that you'll be able to use and play as students come in or as your staff comes in. DJ Blake. That's a great one. Don't worry, be happy. And the kids will wonder why the whistling lasts the first four minutes of the song. 
<laughs> All right, that's a really good one. Um, and so you can use any of these. <laughs> oh, here he comes. There he goes. Awesome. Um, okay, another thing I like to do, and maybe some of you do this anyway, is I like to do one word responses. Um, and so all, this is the chat. And so I like to say something or ask for a response or a feeling about something. I like to normally pick if it's high school kids, something or middle school kids that's going on in the news that's not controversial, but more like pop culture where they have such an opinion. Like, for instance, my favorite one to say is, what do you feel? And if you don't know, please let everybody know in the chat. How do you feel about the name Elon Musk gave his new child? One word response. And if you don't know what it is, you better Google it on your computers. <laughs> One word response, Elon Musk's name for his new child. And if you don't know, this is a great pop culture moment to know. Just go, you're on your computer, Google it and say to yourself, whoa, odd, perplexed, huh? That's the name, yep, it's in there now. It's like a whole bunch of letters and numbers and ever the world was like, shocked and more than anything high school students can't stop talking about it it's very bizarre so i bring it up every time because they just flood the chat with how they feel about it it's such a good thing to do um okay another one one word for how you're feeling about the upcoming school coming school year this is for our, this is so we can commiserate together how's everyone feeling one word ugh excited anxious mixed Nervous, psyched. Uh, now you're gonna be psyched because you have tons of games and, and tricks up your sleeve. Neutral, you're gonna be everyone's favorite Zoomer when they come join you. We got this, inspired. Anxious, torn, yeah. A lot of us I think are torn in this, innovative, yeah. We never would we have done this kind of professional development, now would we have everybody? Um, okay. Great job, last one word, um, and then I might have DJ Blake play another song for us. One word of advice that you would give to the other people in this room about the upcoming year. What one word would you tell everyone for the upcoming year? Breathe, believe, grace, breathe. And I'll let you read. <laughs> nice question mark. I love you put a question mark. Most people maybe put an exclamation point. It's possible. Um, awesome. I like to do this at the end of class, um, especially just to get kids to be quiet for a second and listen to each other so they can just put words in the chat and then they can kind of reflect on either what the day's been like or what they think. Just gives everybody a moment to actually pause um, if everybody's comfortable with being quiet and just having a word that's put into the chat. Um, and I think it's pretty nice. It's a nice way to end. It's a nice way to sum up things. Um, so those are the games um, that we have for you. I, I'm very grateful you many, if not all of you, were running around putting weird things on your head. That's so important. Um, it's also important probably for kids to see you do that right now. Um, so please use these games and share them with anyone and everyone you know. Uh, we'll keep creating more and maybe even do another iteration of this where we have a whole new bunch of games for you. We're going to share out, and Blake will sum this up in a second, but we're going to share out a document that has every one of the games with information about how you do the game. We'll send out the PowerPoint. We'll send out DJ Blake's Spotify list so you can welcome people in with music. And we're also going to send you a link to a website where there are a little more um, intentional kind of thoughtful things that you can do on Zoom for students that they update daily. So that's just nice to have in your back pocket if you want to use that. So maybe DJ Blake will play one more song for us. And then um, I, I'm giving her a second this time as opposed to throwing her right into the mix. DJ oh, Blake. I'm ready. I'm ready. I like the long intro. <laughs> 
<laughs> Every song we pick, we've learned as long intros. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you. Um, first off, Laura, you are fantastic and your, your students at your school are so, so lucky that they have you and we are really grateful that you are willing to share and be goofy and get us all to, I have to say it's like the best 45 minutes of my day and I've been, it's just fun to just, I, I think we, teachers need this as much as everybody else this like break up and just in have a, a little bit of enjoyable time. Um, just a couple of things that Laura mentioned. I, I absolutely promise that you will get a recording of this. I, I have all the hope in the world that you'll share it with anybody who might find it um, interesting or valuable, along with a document that has everything that Laura just outlined. Again, there is all the hope in the world, the more teachers that have this, the more fun kids can have in their classrooms, the more connections we can make, the better we will all be at the end of this school year. So please share um, widely. And if you have really cool things that you've seen or you're doing, share them with us and we will also share them out um, because this is a collaboration of all of us making the best out of a unusual um, circumstance. NNSP has some things coming up that aren't necessarily um, uh, related about bringing joy, but bringing um, robust opportunities to your students around community engagement, social impact. They're on our website, but specifically for you as educators, we have opportunities for cohorts um, this fall, gr small groups to meet like once every six to eight weeks to really talk about how you're providing these opportunities for your students um, while you're um, in whatever hybrid virtual in person situation, whatever it is, we know it doesn't look the same as it did last year. So those um, are available. The information is all on our website, which is um, I'm sure you all know how to get there schoolsinpartnership.org. And um, we have impact classes for your students, which we have two opportunities. We have an intro to community engagement, which is a three day, um, three sessions, three days in September. And then if your kids are interested in doing a deeper dive, we have a task force for community engagement that's available. Those are available, your school can do them, but we're really putting it out there that students individual students from anywhere can join whether you're an nsp member or not we just want kids to have the most opportunities they can have have some experiences that aren't available to them um, this year um, including figuring out what your purpose is things that interest you and then combining those two to create some sort of action item of how to um, make the world a little bit of a better place and the last thing is we have a conference that's coming up in January, but we are accepting proposals for our um, for presentations. We have two themes. One is themed around what we're talking about today, strengthening your programs um, during challenging times. And the second day is uh, race equity and community engagement. So if you have something that you'd like to share, check out on our website and those are due on October 1st. And that is the end of my sales NNSP pitch, which you know I'm not great at. I don't enjoy it. I just want to have fun and listen to some more songs. Laura, you have your hand up. Have we not listened to you enough today? The only thing I want to say to people is when you roll back into your work email, uh, work Zooms, just remember your name might just be Stark Vilby American. <laughs> happens to me on a daily basis. And it's funny now, everyone laughs, but hey, keep it. Roll in Providence Schitt's Creek. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> you know? And then sometimes people won't let you in the Zoom because they're like, who is Providence Schitt's Creek? They're definitely not supposed to be here. So just a reminder to everyone that when you go back, you know, you may want to change it. If, if you want to play a prank on everyone, I say keep it. And then you can roll in and say, hey, everyone, let's all change your names just like me. I've been doing it in our leadership team meetings, and it's changing the vibe of it. Because um, if you're in any of those meetings where you're making decisions about what to do next in your school, um, it's about time for a game. So just use them in there too, folks. Adults need it. Um, okay, I, I will say that yesterday I thought my Zoom was being hacked because it told me Starkville. It was a different, it wasn't the Americans, but something else. And I was like, who's hacking my Zoom? And then it was Laura trying to log on early. Um,
Thank you all so much. It is Thanks. always a pleasure to see all of you. I hope you come. We'll have more um, webinars throughout the year. You are now all miraculously um, included on our mailing list. So you will be able to see it and log in and join us. And we're thrilled you're here and reach out should you need anything. I'm going to, I'm going to take us out. And we'll hang out um, if you have questions on about any of the stuff. Bye, everybody. Thank you for being here.